It's like, why the fuck do the Germans have Feldsteg 44s? What? You just use big words? Stig 44, STG 44, oh, the okay. first assault rifle. Okay. No, that was you like, they, they gave them some like yeah. weird prototype STG 44. It was the MKB 42, is what they were claiming was used on the Eastern Front, and any Millsburg will tell you that they didn't actually exist there. The fact is, though, is that the German team got the first assault rifle. It did as much damage as the Mosin had got, was just as accurate, had a 30 round magazine, and had four Yeah, it was, insa- I, it was insane. And like, the thing the Russian got was like the battle rifle, but could fire in full auto, but it had so much recoil that you never wanted to fire it in full auto in the, to begin with. Let's put it this way, the gun that the Russians got, in real life, was such a bad gun that the Russians refused to use it. Hostile tank spotted. What was it? <laughs> the, uh, AVS. Like yeah, I was, I want to say AVS or AVT, uh, 36 or something. AVT, like, 40. Yeah. Like, there was a, like, there was, like, the gun that the Russians would have been using as, like, the, like, battle rifle thing was the SVT-40, and that actually was a pretty good gun, like, the Germans copied it. Yeah, no, the Gewehr 43 and the, uh, SP, yes, uh, yes, SPT-40. Yes, yes, yes. Those the were, like, th- legit battle rifles and were, like, good weapons. The thing is, though, is that, you know, the, the Red Orchestra 2 guys are like, well, you know, the Germans had all these guns and blah, 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 and it's like, alright. Well, for every Car 98K in the Eastern Front, there were six militias, and how many Mosin have gone? So how, why doesn't the Russian people send the other guns out of the militia? A A what? The PTSH. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm somewhat of a history spurt, sorry. Just like a gun spurt to me. Autism in my mumble channel? <laughs> Never. Why, why well, like, the thing about, like, making the... ...who play a World War II shooter. Renowned for tactical realism. I mean, I don't I know wasn't... why you would attract those... No, people. like, the thing that, like, uh, like set me off is maybe something might have been wrong with... Uh, Red Orchestra 2, like, because, like, I, I, I got it because it's like, what I thought would happen was they said, oh, there's going to be a little, like, extend beta, and that's going to happen, and then there'll be the release, but everything ended up being pushed back in a weird way, and, like, I thought, like, oh, I'll just play this game before, like, you know, Battlefield 3 comes out, because, like, I mean, that's, that's actually why the game sucks so much, just because they needed to get it out before Battlefield 3. So, sort of like Battlefield 4, then. And yeah, except like it's quite, except ten times worse because they didn't have nearly Battlefield for Battlefield for his budget, and they were trying to make a. They were trying to like. They were trying to make a like. They were trying to make a game to get people back on in indie games budget. Is what was going on. It's not just that; it's the fact that they're the arguably Nazi sympathizers to early Nazi fans. Of, uh, what, what, what were those the terms for them? Uh, Wearaboos. Weeboo. No, and in Mumbles, when I was mentioning the German, the World War II Nazi fans that weren't Nazis. Verboo? Or something like that, yeah. Well, Verboo. Because of, uh, Wehrmacht. Guys, uh, uh, I'm not objective this way. The Russians got the one that they had, Boltech, SMG that they put out mass quantities for the idea of spraying enough lead downrange to kill everything. And. The battle rifle that was so good, the Germans stole it, and the battle rifle that was so bad, the Russians refused to use it. <laughs> I and the Germans I, got the R98K, the MG38, the MG44, the Steg44, the MG38, the MG34, or MG43, sorry. 42, God damn it. No, the 42 was not in that game, I remember it, and like... Yeah, it was. It was? I do not remember it being in the game. Unless Silo they, had it, unless and it they was pa- ridiculous. Unless they patched it in. And some of the other maps, the is crazy. The problem is, is that the Russians are trying to uh, multiple things, like stealing the LMGs off of their own tanks after they were dead, because the T-34 was so close to being destroyed by the German armor that they just got people to steal the shit off of it so they could keep using it. I thought the T-34 was better than anything the Germans had for a while. The T-34-85 was, which was a light war model. Oh. And then, like, the Germans copied it and they made, like, some, like, super tank. The Panther. That was oh, like... cause someone <laughs> told me there's a guy that's like, behind us to step. Oh, oh, I'm getting your tag. Cause, like, yeah, I remember reading a thing that it's, like, the Germans Go copied, the, right, copied the T-34 and made, like, a tank. And it's, like, the guy who's, like, the, like, big shit motherfucker of all the SS tank crap. 
He was like, no, fuck this, the Tiger tank's a piece of junk, I want this tank, that's a 234 with a better gun Seriously, on it. I couldn't knife you. I actually swung it in your face and it didn't register for me. Now, not only was the Tiger a bad tank, but it was made with Jewish slave labor and they actively sabotaged the tank, and every part was handmade, which means if you blew up one Tiger, all of it's worse. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it stabbed you right in the neck and you didn't count for that. See, that's really like, oh. ah, slavery's such a bad idea. Well, is a bad idea, but mass no. and slavery is a really bad idea. There's no oh, yeah, hey, we've got great skills. for us. That's an amazing idea. <laughs> we're German, we're so smart and efficient. And then combining that with, um, the Disney Tiger had its own cache of parts, which meant that, you know, like the Sherman? If you blow up a Sherman, uh, Firefly, they could take the parts and slap it onto a Sherman, uh, Crocodile or something like that. Nobody cares. If, a tiger, if you blew up a tiger, all of its parts got scrapped because every part was handmade, which meant that you could not sh swap them between tanks. Like a Pagani. Plus, didn't the Germans like serial number everything, so it was really easy to tell how many tanks they actually had. I don't know if the Americans did that as well. There's also the funny thing of, um, the reason the Steg 44 has got so many different, because it's got like three names, is because the. Oh, yeah, because. Hitler hated it. Yeah, he hated it, but the Quite not people that really were actually intelligent and not insane realized how good a thing they had Who and... were not syphilitic meth addicts, you mean. Yeah, 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 Hitler hates it. Oh god, basically. <laughs> and so they, they kept on submitting it to him to get it made under three different, uh, multiple names to get it made so that they could actually have a peaceful way Uh, see, well, jump. I heard that, like, the only way that they could actually convince him to make it was, uh, like, they called it, uh, Strumgewehr, and he actually liked the name so much that he was okay with the gun. Uh, Strumgewehr. I wouldn't doubt that. I also think that they probably That sounds like a very Hitler thing to do. Then again, you also get some of the funnier things, like how the Brits figured out how to counter the rockets, and, uh... Um, the okay, so uh, the no, Estonia. It's the Estonians, come on, you know this. No, I mean on the Croatians. It's the Estonians, they always do 9-11, it's like their, like, racial ability. It's like the Bushido for the Japanese. No, um... What the hell is it? You know the rumor of, uh, Kirk's proving eyesight's actually from, uh, Oh. Nice. The British were trying to hide radar, and some of their one of their intel guys said, "Oh yeah, our pilots can keep spotting your planes because of carrots." And somebody believed them, and they said, "What the hell? Let's run with it." And Auto balance will commence in 30 seconds. <laughs> There's some really funny stories out of that. It's a double, uh, double agent, Brits, I think. He's one of the al he was a sp allied spy, but he was pretending to be a German spy. And this dude had a couple of hundred fake contacts, and his information was just real enough that he was awarded the Iron Cross. I just Imagine, got killed like, in action in the elevator. Good the Nazis would have been would have been if they weren't also completely stupid at everything. Now they had a lot of really competent commanders, and they even had a couple of commanders who were evil. Um, but it's called arrogance. Oh hey, time tripping. Arrogance was seriously the biggest issue there. No, I think you said Aryans. It's like if you, th well, no, because Aryans hey, like they weren't. There weren't any Aryans. Was Aryan even like in the war at all? No. So the Aryans didn't do anything in the war. Yeah, no. Where the fuck were the Pakistanis? No, because the Pakistanis were like they're, they're like the modern Aryans. Aryans. They're like mm -hmm. no, that's the Ar Iranians are modern are the real true Aryans. You know where the name Those are Caucasians. Land of the Aryans the French. in Parsi. That's where Persia comes from. The other fun one is uh, looking up what the uh, Italian pilots said about their aircraft. They suck. Um, a couple of Italian pilots said, uh, like a couple of Italian aces, which that in fact alone astounds me. Hey! Um, they, the, the Italians actually had aces. They, uh, let me, let me guess, they, uh, they somehow managed to steal an English or German aircraft. If I remember right, the aircraft that he was doing it in, he labeled a flying death trap that somehow managed to fly properly enough for him to get kills, basically. Hey, um, 
How many kills did it take to get, become an ace? Uh, uh, whoever told me to, whoever told me to switch this server has very aggressive. I heard that like the guy who designed the ace was some like crazy German fighter pilot that blew up everything in Russia. The Varen Brichtofen? No, he was the Darren von Richthofen was the uh, Red Baron. He was yeah. World War One, and that dude was so fucking swag. I wish I had that dude swag. They see me rolling. He was so Yo. awesome. He was reincarnated as a cartoon dog. No, yeah, Snoopy. Basically. No, Snoopy fought the Red Baron. Snoopy was British. Actually, the Red Baron. Snoopy did a terrible what, what job because he never anyway? beat the Red Baron. Kind of a historical like curiosity with the Red Baron is a. Uh, he made good pizza? He encouraged other... <laughs> yeah, that too. No, he encouraged pilots to wear his colors so that uh, enemy fighters wouldn't shoot him down as much. He would give he would tell rookie pilots to wear his colors so that they wouldn't uh, engage the rookies. Seriously. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, that guy... He seems like a pretty chill dude, and he was just so sweat. Like, like yeah, the picture of the guy on the, like... I saw, like, the guy on the Red Baron pizza box, and, like, that's what I thought the Red Baron looks like, and then, like, what on Wikipedia, and it's like, he's not this, like, idiot with a fucking gay mustache, he's this lagging dude with swag. Fuck. Now, uh, he, uh... I don't... Supposedly, what was it, an Aussie unit that shot him down, I think? Yeah. Well, no matter um, how cool you are in war, I mean, in a hundred years, someone will make a pizza box with your name with your face and name on it. Uh, I don't know, uh, has I'm White Death gone? Through, uh, White Death hasn't gone his own... I can't yeah. wait for Schwarzkopf pizza. <laughs> no, Hitler pizza. It doesn't scream as much. <laughs> I'm gonna figure we, we'll get someone. If not Schwarzkopf, then Powell. Or, you know, some, See, you missed the obvious joke. Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> Hitler, Hitler brand pizza it goes great in a gas oven. Well, no, Condoleezza right, Rice would be a brand of rice, not pizza, I'm sure. Condole like, uh... <laughs> That you know Dave Chappelle, that Dave Chappelle sketch. Basically. Yeah. Betray us pizza. <laughs> General Betray us, or General Betray us. General Betray us, or General Betray us, or... Pepperoni. <laughs> you gotta admit, if you have a name like that, you're, like, you're just asking for bad puns to be made about it. Like, it's, it, the, the thing, like, when I heard the guy's name, I thought, like, is this dude some, like, Roman proconsul or something? Like, he said, it sounds like his title should be Legate and not, uh, General. <laughs> Commanding the 4th Legion. He went into Russia and almost started World War III. To be fair, a lot of people have done that. Yeah, that's true. In Russia always wins. Not the people in Russia, just the country itself. Mm -hmm. The motherland. The motherland survives. The people the people die by the millions. The motherland is the bitch of the fatherland. Is that uh is that Ezra Miltaka, Matuna smoke a tuna guy a uh, goon? Keep in mind Germany never defeated Russia, basically. Except by sending Lenin back to them. That's the only way they ever beat Russia. They let uh, Stalin roll over, that's enough winning for me. Killed all their uh, high-tech people for flying. <laughs> it's like industrial it. sabotage. You, you do not like least. Stalin's hair? You go to Gula! That's probably accurate. It's like, yep. people would give Stalin a standing ovation, and the, last per and the first person to, start to stop clapping would uh, get sent to a gulag. It's like North Korea. <laughs>